Hello everybody, welcome back to Project Hospital. So, we had our main series just finish. Um, that finished because in the game, when you're building a hospital from scratch, you're spending a lot of time building and managing, and it can get a little bit stagnant once you get a couple of the big departments in. So I thought it was the right time to sort of put that on hold. I thought we could start doing the challenges. So these come with the game, and I thought we could do the challenges whilst we wait for the DLC to come out. And then as soon as the DLC is out, then we'll have a great look at that. We'll have a look, we'll build a hospital again from scratch. We'll do any extra challenges or anything like that. I know there's a hardcore mode. So please don't think Project Hospital is over because it's definitely not. It's definitely one of my favorite games at the moment. So I want to play it just as much as hopefully you want to see it. So this is challenge number one. So hi boss and welcome to our challenge scenario. Your task is simple. Cure 90% of your patients every day for 10 days, with 5 clinic patients and a 1 ambulance patient increase every day. Fail one day and the challenge is over. Your success will be checked at midnight. Happy curing. So that is our briefing. So let's pause the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look. So this floor here, our first floor, is completely empty. Our ground floor, we have an empty building over here. And over here, we simply have an emergency department, common room, um, janitor's closet, rest room, reception, waiting room, and the hematology lab. That is it. I'm really excited for this. I haven't touched any of these challenges, so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. Currently, staff-wise, we have one janitor in the day, one janitor at night, one receptionist in the day for emergency, and one doctor in the day for emergency. So we're gonna need some more staff. So first of all, let's say we are going to open at night. And for that, we are going to use, you're quite a good doctor. However, it'd be nice to have someone with it. Um, advanced diagnosis. Um, you look quite good, you'd also be a good chief doctor. So Richard Taylor's in. Richard Taylor's gonna be our chief doctor as well. Does that make sense though? Having him in the night. Let's swap that. So he's going to be, yep, yeah, day over there, that's fine. Um, night time, no, no. Can you please go there? Thank you, Richard. Okay, so in the night, we are going to employ, you look quite good, you've got good advanced diagnosis, you're a people person. You're late into work, but I'm not too worried about that. So let's get in you. So Peter's in. So we've got two doctors. Let's go for three doctors, I think. You're going to be on intern. Um, let's go for Casey. So that's three doctors. Lab-wise, we have someone in a day. So that's fine. I'm happy with that. So let's run with that. Um... And then we'll sort of see how it goes and we can expand with radiology and things as we go. So let's get our first patients through the door. Here we go, we've got Robert King coming in. Right, so he's got some kind of bacterial, maybe a cold, maybe hay fever. So let's do a physical exam, look at his chest. So he's got hay fever, which he needs antihistamines. So that's Robert here. Is there someone there? So that's the doctor. Where's the patient? Oh, that's the doctor there. So here we have Richard Davis. So Richard's suffering from some kind of hepatitis, maybe lupus. Okay, so now let's change. Let's do physical exam. Let's have. He's got chronic fatigue syndrome. So he just needs some exercise, okay. Over here, we have Jane Wilson here has a Raynaud syndrome, so she needs the vasodilators, which she's having, so that's good. So there should be a few patients which are gonna be going out the door, yep, so that's three patients cured. 
Here we've got Frank Walker. He's got something wrong with his arm, so let's do physical exam and a skin allergy test. See if he's allergic to anything, because he's having some kind of... Oh, he's got athlete's foot. So he needs antifungal ointment. He's getting that now. Kate Baker here has got contact dermatitis, so she needs her antihistamines, which she's getting. Uh, I don't think anyone's used the lab yet. Here we've got Fraser Martin, so we're not sure what kind of problem he's got with his feet or toes. So let's. So we only need x ray, basically. Um, we have not got an elevator. So let's go for radiology over here. That sort of makes sense. You'd want to contain your radiology, wouldn't you? So let's go radiology. Let's have radiology. That's blue. So let's go for uh, orange. And we're going to say that's a room. That's a room. Oh no. And if we want to get any other type of radiology we can fairly simply then we're going to say please be careful because we have x-rays in here we're going to have oh yeah how big is the machine because that's not a massive room uh, x-ray let's get that there then what we can do is we can say here is sort of where the radiologist goes to perform the x-ray. Floor wise let's go black out here and I'll go with some kind of wood in the little office bit. Then in here we're going to need a desk. Um, go for a desk like that. Chair with a computer and then we'll say that's the panel. He makes sure the patient's okay by watch windows and also let's get an x-ray viewer here so you can show this patient what's the matter and in this corner we can get some cabinets just so there's something in the room and they um, if they need anything in emergency they've got it. a couple of posters up lovely jubbly so radiologist let's go for You're quite good. You've not got anything that's bad really, do you? So let's go for you, Frank. So Frank's in. We also need a waiting room. So that's the waiting room. We'll get in a few chairs. Like so. And then we'll also get a vending machine and a water dispenser. The key machine can go over here with Info TV. And we'll just let everyone know that this is x-ray. Like so. So radiology department is done. So hopefully, oh no, what am I doing? You can go and get your x-ray of your lower limb. Here we've got Lisa who's got some kind of, she might have some kind of lacerations. Let's do yeah, physical exam. Look at her chest. What's it looking like? Chest contusion or broken ribs. So she's going to need an x-ray on her chest. We've got a lot of patients waiting. So we're going to get a doctor in here also. Let's get you. Dana. Assume that's how you spell her name or pronounce her name rather. That's one more doctor. We are, it's not telling us how many patients we're treating. I mean, currently it's 100% because we haven't closed the clinic. But hopefully everyone gets treated. Let's give her a physical exam, try and avoid x-ray, which we can't. So we'll give her an x-ray. You're gonna need an x-ray. Oh my Christ. Well, you don't need an x-ray. You just need, yeah, no ointment and you can go home. You, Wow, that's quite an array of things which could be wrong. So let's go for physical exam, differential, uh, CRP. Is that kind of... still not sure. Looking more likely like lactose and... Well, so could be either or. So she needs microbial sampling. 
which means I'm going to have to get a lab. So I'd like to keep this just as radiology. But what we could do is grab an elevator. And then if we go up, up, up in the world, we will get in a medical lab. So let's go for green up here. Um, oh, you do sort of obstruct the corridor. So if I get rid, and then we'll say the elevator's actually going to be down there. Assume that's fine. Yeah, that's a bit better. It clears that corridor. Okay, and then we're going to go... We'll go sort of long ways like that. We'll do some painting up here. And then we'll get in a door this side. And this is going to be microbiology. So we need some desks. So let's get in that with one chair and then a computer paper holder. We need sample storage, which we're going to get there, because that's closer to the door, so that's the first thing that they should go to. We've got a couple of lab shelves. And then we're going to actually need the equipment. So if we get in two tables with a fume hood in the middle, and then we'll go, um, the incubator can go at the end. Then we need microscope, glassware, so let's get rid of that desk and then get in the sink and we'll go for a biohazard bin get some scrubs in maybe like so and then we can, we can expand this room once or if we need another person in the lab so we can get another desk in there or another computer so that's the lab a waiting room we'll go for sort of again a, like a long waiting room there Okay, and seating wise, we'll get out some benches with some chairs also. Then we can say vending machine, water dispenser, and you don't need your info TV because they have to give the scientist and collect from the scientist their sample, so there's not much point having the um, info TV. So that's a basic microbiology and waiting room setup. Staff wise, that's pretty good. Annual advanced biochemistry. So that's definitely the one to go for. So Daniel, you're in. Um, now we've got to find the lady who needed microbiology. Come in, you. Yeah. So you go and do some microbial sampling. Floor wise, what are they doing over here? They're using the tiles. So let's get in tiles. That's going to be orange. And then we won't bother too much with the uh, putting the orange stripe around. This is, of course, more management rather than building, so that will do. Okay, so here we have Elizabeth King. She's got common cold, so she just needs some rest. Here we have Richard King. He's got, well, it can be anything really. Let's go check his chair, check his temperature. Um, we can do an evaluation, but it might, CRP as well, but it might be worth doing something like blood draw and microbial sampling. If we've got any more of an inkling what it might be, it's definitely something microbial. Yeah, still not sure. It's definitely worth just going and getting some microbial workups done. Here we've got Paul Lewis um, again, looking at something to do with his kidneys or liver. So let's have a look at blood pressure, uh, and then we'll do some lab tests. Uh, we can do a CRP. That should give a... Ah, oh, he's got influenza. Well, stop all of that because I'm not paying for that if he's just got influenza. Antivirals, done did. OK, 
Okay, down here we've got Richard Baker. So he again might have common cold. So let's do physical exam as well. Um, so let's have a look. Let's do a laryngoscopy and have a look at his nose maybe. He's got viral tonsillitis. So let's give him some rest. Okay. What else have we got going on then? Over here we have Richard King. Um, not sure what's wrong with him, so let's do last bits, and then we can do a chest x ray if we need to. So, still not quite. Oh, he's got sinusitis. So, he needs a saline nasal spray. Okay, okay. Down here we've got Barbara Williams. So again, she's looking like she's got something wrong. Oh, okay. So let's do physical exam. And we'll have a look at his mouth and nose. See if that proves to shed any light on what she's got. Nothing in the minute. Let's do a laryngoscopy. Oh no, she's got sinusitis too. And she's having a nasal spray. Linda Rodriguez here has Reynolds syndrome, so she's having her vasodilators. What else is going on? Jane Davis here has lactose intolerance, so she's going to have um, some advice on modifying her diet, which is cool. We're starting to get through the patients now. Over here we've got Dana Wilson who's got arm contusions, so she's having her numbing ointment. That's good. We've got Richard Wright here. Um, looks like he could have a whole manner of different things. So let's do a physical exam. Look at his chest. Um, do blood pressure maybe. See if anything in there sheds a bit of light, a little bit. So it's probably worth doing microbial sampling. So they're all sort of microbial kind of issues. We've got Brooke Robinson over here. She's got golfer's elbow. So she's having a nice wrap done. Mary Thomas has got contact. She should do a somersault onto the bed. I think she's done a somersault onto the bed. She's got contact dermatitis. So she needs some antihistamines. Um, have we seen you, Richard? Yeah, we have seen you. Have you had your, oh, you have any microbial sampling done now? That's antimycotics, antibiotics, well. Okay, fair enough. I mean, they're quite similar. Obviously, one, one treats bacteria, one treats um, fungi. So that's what the mushroom said. No, I ruined the joke. I ruined the joke, guys. It was meant to say, what's call cool mushroom at a party, a fungi. But I managed to ruin it. Over here, yeah, someone sat down. We've got Carol Cole. She needs some numbing ointment for her fo foot contusion. Might be worth. We haven't got too much money, but splitting these rooms up because some of them are quite large and we could get a lot more capacity in some smaller rooms. So we can maybe do that in the evening. Um, where is everyone? Is everyone waiting for x rays? No. We've got one person up here waiting for microbial study. Okay. So it's going well. Here we have. Linda, oh my god, it's ten past seven. Wow, okay. She's got pharyngitis, she needs some NSAIDs. So that's that. Hopefully that's her treated and done with. And there's no patients at the minute. Who got Richard Wright? He's got tonsillitis, so let's give him some antibiotics. She should have 35 patients in. So we might need two doctors at night. We'll see. Here's Paul Williams. 
Well, first of all, let's get someone at night in hematology. Let's go for you. X ray, let's go for. You. Microbiology, let's go for. Um, you. Trying to avoid as many of the bad perks as possible. And we will get in a second doctor for this evening shift, which we're going to go with. Get a fresh batch. Let's go for. Hmm. Let's go for Casey. He seems okay. So still not sure what's wrong with Paul. So let's do. He's going to need microbial samples again. They're quite microbial based. Here we've got Joseph Williams. So let's do physical exam and a skin allergy test because it looks like it might be an allergy. Any ideas? Oh, okay, still not sure. So we might have to do a uh, mycological sampling there. Here we have Karen Clark. She's obviously got something wrong with her lung. Oh no. So either histoplasmosis or tonsillitis. It is tonsillitis, so antibiotics. Okay, okay. So no one's in as of yet. So we'll just trundle along to midnight. I think we treated everyone that we could have, we don't worry. At least 90% treated patients for 10 days, we've got 10%. So I assume that means we've done well because now we're getting 40 patients, which is quite a lot. Um, So you, this doctor here, if you can go and work there, that would be good. And then we'll make this room a little bit smaller. So how big does it, so that's one, two, three, four. This is massive. That one's also quite big. So let's go one, two, three, four. And then we can go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Get rid of. Oh, doing the wrong thing. Go to that wall. And then we can go to that. What we're going to do is we're going to go checkered on all of these rooms. Like so. You're going to go back to being tiles yeah I'm working on it I'm working on it so that's a doctor's office if we do that so that's one that's two that's a three and then that's going to be an extension of the waiting room wall wise let's go for blue walls Standard, but it's going to work. Okay, right. So this room, um, let's get that in. Can I grab the chair? No, no, I can't. What else do you need? Um, just an eye test. So you're okay. And then we can say we'll do the stuff just after. 
Um, this one here needs a door. Just get a door. Get rid of the sink. Get rid of that lamp, and then this room will get this medical light. And we need. Um, desk. So let's get that there. We can put that chair in there. So here we need an eye test. And we'll get rid of the sink. Don't need two oxygen tanks. Don't need a stool. So let's get in um, on this wall disinfectant and a bin. Then eye test. Get it done there. And we need an audio meter there. Then we get a fancy chair there. In this one, we can get rid of that um, and the sofa and bookcase. Bin can come in. Don't need um, one of those bins. We need the cabinet thingy. Then we need a desk. Then we'll get a PC, paper holder, disinfectant. I definitely need a warming cabinet in here. Then we need an exam bed. Again, we'll go with that medical light. And then we just need a CRP scan. Yeah, so we've got one more room. So, those are the doctors that we currently have in. So we've also got Casey at night. So let's say Casey, oops, goes in, oh, what one is it? That one. Here goes Casey Hill. No, whoops. Here goes David Lewis. And then here we can get a new doctor. So let's go for, you're quite good. Let's go for Jordan. Jordan looks good. So that's one more doctor for the day. There we go. Hope you can crash through on to morning. Train a couple of patients as we go. So here we have William King. Not sure what he's got. He's very tired. He's got an irritable cough. So let's have a, have a look at his oral cavity. Um, he's got hay fever, which needs antihistamines. Here we have Paul Young, something to do with his lungs. So let's have a look at his chest. He's got Raynaud's syndrome, which means a vasodilators for him. Two more patients gone. No one else is in at the minute. So let's see if we can get on until morning. Okay, so here we have Susan Scott. She's got athlete's foot. So she's having an antifungal ointment. Another patient done. Now morning. So I'm gonna leave it there today guys. So that's day one done. We managed to treat all of the patients that came into the clinic and no one got turned away. We expanded our hospital via a microbiology lab, x-ray and we added another doctor's office. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed this different kind of side to Project Hospital. I'll see you again next time where we will be carrying on. See you later. If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, post a comment down below, and please follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep updated. See you later.